first I will begin with this menu because I changed description and the icon. So you can see this is old one and this is the recent one. Welcome back, it's Pablo Fish and and I will show Paul Wickles 1.1 release. It's a new version and I won't show everything how to use this jetpack, so you might need to view a full tutorial, it's just change log what I have changed for better of course. And first thing to mention is that if you type reload and right now I have 1.0 release installed as well, then you can type datapack disable and release version or you can just disable delete the file here like right here and just type reload and it will say that 1.0 outdated data pack disabled and new version and now you can also mention that it doesn't work because some vehicles has like most vehicles were renamed so you probably need to type slash kill and this comment tag bob v point origin and it will kill array effect cloud i also changed the whole function structure and how everything is organized now it's better now it's faster and now it makes more sense for instance to summon now i need to use slash function summon and then namespace namespace i use just so if you use any other data pack it won't conflict and it, you can spawn a bike, a cabriolet, or a private helicopter. For example, here we go. Now they have different design, I think it's way better. And and also the whole thing how vehicles work is different now. They work the same, they work better, they are not delayed anymore. And if you see it, you've been set as the owner. And it also says that you can use this section because maybe someone wouldn't know it and you can actually drive yes i can and the thing is now when you leave vehicle it still it will store the rotation yes finally they don't reset all the time they work better also all these work as usual you have trunk uh, you have I changed how it behaves, so now it makes again more sense if you will brake and hold the rotation button, it won't reverse rotation, it will work just the same. Also you can see that now um, gravity is completely fake, so it means that I can control and make them not just drive above the water and I can just scrap this vehicle for instance just to show that it works better and let me show you that now it makes more sense as you can see also now on 1.17 version data pack uses marker entity instead of array effect cloud for you it just means that on 1.17 versions vehicles are more optimized, they take less performance from your server and they are fully server side if it tells you anything. A nice feature to have is that now you can paint both parts. For instance I can paint the wooden parts, for example I want it to be purple and then make it also pink or maybe, oh wrong one, like you can, it, it looks kind of stupid but you are you got me like if you have if you want you can always paint your vehicles however you want more customization is better i think it also works for helicopters that have been changed you can see it has new design it has less blocks in it so it's more optimized it also has a little bit rotation of the blades because it makes more sense again and they finally land they are not flying above air for no reason 
and I can also paint them. I can just type slash trigger paint. I can make it, for instance, blue, and I want dark, and it will be like this. If I drive it, you can also note here's the sound because I disabled it temporarily just to showcase, and it has changed the how it works. For example, now it's faster when you go up and down and also to do while well, you're rotating you're not accelerating so if i will hold both w and d i will just rotate and when you unhold all buttons you can see that it's slowing almost like super slow and to break you of course just press button and if you leave it it will land on the ground and now vehicles are craftable. To make them, first you need a, an, an engine. To, to make it, you just use two iron blocks and two pistons. You take the book and you get engine tier 1. To make it tier 2, you need a smithing table. Just combine it with diamond and you get tier 2. Uh, also, it's, yes, it's just a glitch. I don't actually have it. You have Two tiers let me duplicate the tier 2 one and then you need an angle and just rename name tag to bubble vehicles right here and rename any villager and it might not work yes just forget to mention so i don't know why but sometimes it doesn't work now it worked maybe you just should try to look at his eyes no maybe at his nose yes Sometimes it works, there's sometimes no. Maybe I will fix it somehow. I don't understand how right now. And if you open it, you will see that tier 1 is used for bike, this is for cabriolet and private helicopter. And for example, I can get a bike, a cabriolet and a private helicopter. You can see it's different. It has this nice name. Summon bike, summon cabriolet and private helicopter and I can make it in survival mode now it's survival friendly also maybe I will change crafts later I've never made crafts so I tried my best to make them logical and as hard as it balanced for example you need a necessary scribe for helicopter because you can literally fly on it and it's kinda OP and this is actually all for now I didn't add any other vehicle, I just improved and finished all mechanics I already had. Now it's very easy to add vehicles, even like any guy who opens this data pack can add them. And I will soon make more of them, more, make some interesting ones of course. So that's all for now, see ya!